Hi, I'm Dr. Murdoch Kalegi, board certified emergency physician, author of several health books, and medical director of Wellness FX. Today we're going to be discussing vitamin D and its many health benefits and effects on the body. Now, to demonstrate some of these many systems that vitamin D affects, we're going to be using information from one of our members with permission on the Wellness FX platform. Now, vitamin D has been known for years to increase the absorption of calcium, which helps support strong bones and decrease the risk of osteoporosis. What's also been learned over the last few years is that vitamin D can actually reduce the body's level of inflammation, which can reduce your risk of cancer and heart disease. Therefore, there's a lot of interest in increasing the body's level of vitamin D through supplementation and increasing the intake of healthy fats, which improve vitamin D absorption. Looking at our members' vitamin D, we see that even when they started their program, their vitamin D level was what was in considered an optimal range. But as I said, there's been a lot of research sh showing beneficial effects of even higher levels of vitamin D. So this member supplemented further. As you can see on their second screening, got it from the 30s to the 40s, then on their third screening into the 50s, and finally on their most recent screening, their vitamin D level got into the 60s. And that seems like a great thing, and it might be. What some very, very recent literature has shown, though, is that too high a level of vitamin D may actually increase the body's level of inflammation, which can increase your risk for cancer and heart disease. So what would be really interesting to find out is where the ideal level of vitamin D is. Is it in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, or the 60s? We can actually measure the body's level of inflammation. And one of the best measurements we have, is something called the high sensitivity C-reactive protein, or HSCRP. Looking at this member's HSCRP, it started in 0.4. This was when their vitamin D level was in the 30s. And as they increased their vitamin D into the 40s, it went down to 0.3. So it did improve. The body's level of inflammation lowered. Then as they got into the 50s, the inflammation started to increase again. And finally, as the vitamin D level got into the 60 range, the level of inflammation was even higher than when the member first started. In other words, it appears for this member, the ideal range of vitamin D is in the 40s. Now this is going to be different for every person and that's why it's so important to know not only where your vitamin D range is but to assess your body's level of inflammation because that can be predictive of your future risk of cancer and cardiovascular disease. So as we can see vitamin D in addition to affecting bones which has been known for years can also affect the risk of heart disease, stroke, and cancer, which between those affects nearly every system of the body. Therefore, it's extremely important to understand, know, and act on your vitamin D levels.